Hello, my name is Joel Wilburn and I play bass here at Redeemer. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, bass tone and about the tone of your bass. And by tone, what we mean is really the overall sound of your bass, the, the sound quality. If you go to a guitar store and you pick up a handful of different basses and play them through various amps, you'll automatically hear a variety of tones. Similarly, if you play your bass with a pick or uh, different ways just with your own hands, then you can hear a variety of tones that are created uh, through subtle changes. While there's, there's no right tone to play the bass uh, in any particular setting, some genres of music cater towards certain tones a little bit better. Um, and there are certainly some tones that are very poor to portray what you're needing to uh, for that particular um, role and for that particular setting with your instrument. You should re always rely heavily on both your ears and what you're hearing and feeling from your instrument and also the other band members. Um, also in the case here at Redeemer, rely on people like the sound guy to really tell you when the tone of your instrument is not suitable to what we're needing to do. Um, and it's, it's heavily influenced by both the type of song you're playing and also by the type of room that you're in on what is the best tone for that situation. So everyone always asks, well, how, how do you create a good tone? Like, what is a good tone, and how do you change that tone for your particular instrument? And first and foremost, you always have to remember with the bass is your tone comes from your hands, from how you're fretting the notes with your left hand, from how you're plucking the notes with your right hand, or if you're using a pick or not. That is primarily what's going to create the tone out of your instrument, more so than any, any preamp or any set of pickups or any particular amp or anything else will. So, for example, if I'm playing a bass line, you know, generally I play it just right, right here in the middle and I don't pluck too hard. So that gives me a very round and full tone. Whereas if I play close to the bridge, then it brings out a lot more of that high end and kind of thins out the tone. Uh, neither one of them is particularly poor, it just depends on the particular sound that you're going for. Um, and then if you use a pick, or, or even if you just use a pick sometimes for certain songs, then it gives you a much more heavy attack sound on your bass and really accentuates the sound of your strings. So it's important to be aware of that and to know that Primarily, it's not about uh, the, the settings on your instrument. Like right now, all my settings are at flat, and uh, the settings on my amp are flat, and that's just the variances that you heard there were just through different ways that I played the instrument. Um, it, secondly, it's really important to know your bass and to know, uh, know the different options that you do have on your bass for adjusting the tone and what would be the best setup. Each bass is different. Um, in, in my case here, I have two tone knobs. One of them is for the bass control, and it's a cut only on my bass control, and then one for the treble, and again, it's cut only there on the treble. I have two pickups. I have a neck pickup and a bridge pickup, and I have a selector here for uh, choosing just the neck or just the bridge or both. And uh, additionally, sometimes you'll have certain pedals or you may have a preamp that you may run through that affects that tone. All of those are good tools that you can use. Additionally, as sort of a last resort, we can also adjust the tone just through the sound mixer that we have here at the church. And that's really more meant to, um, to correct maybe some subtle things that may be causing uh, bad overtones in the room or maybe causing unnecessary string noise. But primarily, it's good to practice, get the tone how you want it, uh, get it how you believe it's going to best work along with the rest of the band and then be prepared once you actually get in the setting where you're playing the song to have to adjust that tone somewhat to, uh, to the room and to the band that you're playing with.